All right, guys, I'm up to bat tomorrow for the first time this season. Hopped in the truck. I'm taking a couple hour road trip up north and I'm hunting with my friends Brandon and Darren. And this has become an annual trip that I look forward to. This is a completely different style turkey hunt than what I'm used to. Uh, most of the timber around here is concentrated around rivers and creek bottoms. So that makes the birds more concentrated because it's mostly agriculture fields out here in big fields. So there's not that much timber. So um, I like it. it. It makes things a little easier sometimes when these birds get concentrated into these blocks of timber. So I'm looking forward to it and seeing my buddies and uh, hopefully we can knock down some birds tomorrow. All right, we just saw a big tom strut with two hens about, what, half mile away? Probably, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go try and get closer and see if we can't call them in. Birds have not been talking, so it's the only hope right now. Just go in the timber and creep on them. Because the last time I sat in the corner, and the turkeys kind of want to stay along the woods. We can get at least halfway down the trail right here in logging road. That's what I realized. We have struck right now. The hunt the hens and the big one are coming this way. For real? Yeah. Alright, we need to bottle up and watch them. I think they're walking right through. You want to kill that one if you have a chance. Uh, the thing I can just go right there. Everyone. That bird's the one you want to kill if you can. He's way bigger. coming right here. Yeah. Kind of Yeah. That's good. He's got one too. Do you feel better? Boy, much better. I actually woke up without an alarm. I was up a quarter after four. Mm. All right, 
We saw a bird go in this corner last night. Let me go see if we can't get set up on them. Haven't been hearing too many gobbles, so hopefully things change this morning. We'll be to the right of that flag. We'll be out there. Right behind the grill there. Probably um, drive on the road just to make sure those other ones aren't up against the timber. timber. Yep, look at that big bastard. On the, or walk up by the evergreens. I see him and set him up. See the black the black uh, blind on yeah. my property? Yeah. Look down to the six o'clock. To the south? Yep. No, no, six o'clock. Oh, yeah, the there he is. Right off that point. Alright, we spotted some turkeys from the road, like half a mile away. So we're sneaking up on the back side of them and we're gonna try and uh, call them in or use the starter decoy and see if we can't get them to come in. But they're ways out there. It was it Jake that was a little closer? Right, Brandon worked the magic with Onyx. Darren just made a phone call. We just got permission. These gobblers are what, 750 yards According out there? The map. Yeah, so we're gonna go try and sneak up on them. Gained 500 yards this move here, so. And they, they ganged up on this uh, Tom or Jake out there and ran him off, so we have the starter decoy. I think it's our best option, so we're gonna give it a shot.
They're coming. Damn, they're coming quick. But let them get close. I got the one on the left. Phenomenal. I that did was not intense. expect that to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I couldn't get swings in there. Right, that tree's in there. Man, they came. They must have just saw enough of that fan. Oh. <laughs> you well, they to on together. <laughs> it just took me three shots. But hey, they're, three. they're running. That that's one was running three. before I shot. That's why there's three in the gun. That is not Sweet. what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even shoot them shake. <laughs> that's so quick. I didn't realize. Oh, you're right. They're coming. They just—they saw that fan and just yeah had to come. <sighs> Look at that. That's that's the, was that wasn't much of a spot to be <laughs> hiked from that timber over there. Yeah, don't spur me, bud. Sorry. First time. Oh yeah. yeah I was with Darren what two years ago when you got your first that Jake. First Jake. That was. Get him tagged up quick. That's a good beard. Big spurs. Real big spurs. Oh those are nice. Holy cow, those are real nice. New property access. Always a good thing that to have. Onyx came through. Darren came through. <sighs> Sometimes you just have to ask. That's a good spurt, too. Good spurt. They're both good spurs. I think you got me. Yours are a little bigger, I would say. Started off pretty slow here the last couple days. Birds were not gobbling on the rooster when they got down at all. We struck out pretty hard last two mornings so we decided to go look for them in the fields hoping that with this rain that they'd be out in the fields eating bugs and stuff and that they were that was the case they had some hens with them but i don't know where they ended up you can never see them so put the stock on these two and they came in quick <laughs> they came in very quick with no calling <laughs> with no calling yeah you can't beat that Just a decoy. we're not the best callers so we appreciate that <laughs> I think your fans got me beat though. They both look pretty good from here. They're about equal. Uh -huh, man. So. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect time in the rain. Just started and we're getting out of here and we go celebrate. Go get some lunch, some adult beverages. It's a good day. When it comes to spring or fall food plots, your bedding grasses, your mineral, your access and exit screen, and your upland game mixes, Real World Wildlife Products has you covered. It's not about a fancy bag. It's about actual seed and proven results.